Hi friends, how you doing? I just need to get some things done on the computer really quick. Um, and I just got a very last minute scan that I get to go to. I have to leave here in 15 minutes or so. Um, so I don't have as much editing time as I wanted to have, but I get to go and get my nails done today. I'm very excited. I have let them grow out today. Um, when I'm going to the scan last minute, they wanted me for three hours, but I had already made this appointment to get my nails done. And I have worked so hard to get together with this friend of mine um, to go get our nails done. And we finally, finally, finally have a time where we can both meet. And as soon as I made that appointment, I got um, a call to go in for a scan at the exact same time. And I was like, I'm not changing my plans. <laughs> I normally would, because the scan would have been a lot of money. Um, so I've been working with their scheduler to try and go in earlier and just not be there as long. Um, and so she just made that happen for me. So I'm only going to do half the time. I'm only going to be there for an hour and a half, but I really want to get my nails done. Um, I'm desperate for a, a manicure. I'm going to be very careful with what I get done today. I have let my nails grow out. If you are new here, I've had issues with getting my nails done and I don't know what step causes me to react and it, the reaction comes two to three days after I get my nails done. I have had, um, I usually get dip nails. I've reacted to dip nails. I have had shellac gel. I've had two different kinds of shellac gel done and I react to that, which I have never reacted to that. I've had that done for years. I've had dip done for years. Um, I have tried, um, well, I've done two different kinds of gel. Um, and so one, the last time I went in, I went in for a manicure and they convinced me to just put the shellac polish on and I was fine with that. I was like, okay, fine. But I still reacted. Not as, I mean, I will, yeah, I, I still reacted. I don't know if I'm, Abby, my Abby has done a lot of research on just doing her own nails. Um, and this is just, we're just using Google on this, but she thinks that everything that I've gotten done uses the UV like light sensor thing to set it. And she thinks that I'm not having it set long enough. And so then it, the chemical is reacting to my skin because it's not being set long enough on my nails. So then it slowly like seeps into my skin because the nails are fine. It's the skin that has a problem. So I'm not really sure what to do today. Um, I am getting them done before my trip to Japan and Hawaii. I'm getting it done ahead of time. One, to give my hands a chance to recover if they break out again. I'm gonna, I wish I could cancel this. Decline. Ashley's friends are, well, they could wake her up. It's 1230. <laughs> I should have just let them wake her up. Um, but I want to get them done as just a manicure with just nail polish and I might just tell them, okay, let them wake her up. Let them wake her up. Oh, she answered it. Um, and not have them set it with the UV thing to see if that's what's causing it because my nails need to be done. Like I need the cuticles cut. I need the nails to be trimmed up. Um, but I just don't know what part in it like is causing the problem. And it's not the nail salon. I have said this before. I think someone called one of the nail salons and caused me some havoc. Um, don't do that, please. That's not very nice. It's not the nail salon and it's not me. So I'm somehow reacting to some part of it. Um, so we're going to test it today and see what happens with it. And then, um, but just put nail polish on because I'm just... I'm just wanting the nails to be fine. I don't necessarily want them to have nail polish or to have them last a long time. Um, when I do have a, a trip coming up, I'm not going to say what it is right now, but I do want to have a trip coming up and I want my nails to look nice for that, but they don't need to be like fancy. I'm not doing anything fancy. And so I'm, this is just a, a testing. And I'm also going to get my toes done because they're just nasty and I'm starting to wear my flip flops. <laughs> And my toes don't ever react, so I, it's just a, I, my friend's taking me, so I'm just going to get my toes done, 
and we're gonna call it good. So anyway, that's the plan for now. Um, but I do need, I probably talked off some of the time I had here. Um, and I can hear two of my kids awake now upstairs. Um, Chelsea's probably been awake for hours, but Ashley is just barely waking up and, uh, let me get that going here. Um, okay. Abby is already at school. She's at college for her college courses and then, um, is going to go. This is how I know Abby is doing really well. She's going to go to her college class and then she's going to go get gas at Costco and then she's going to go get something to eat, meet a friend. And I think they're going shopping. What are they doing? Oh, they're going to go to get pizza together and hang out. And then she works at four. So she's doing really good. She's recovering very well from having influenza B. Um, I think that video went out today. Um, I've read some of the comments, but um, not all of them yet, but I will have read them by the end of the day. Um, so thank you for thinking of her. She's been through the gamut and I just am done with her having to like be sideswiped every single time we turn around. So I just really want her to be good now and at least until our trip and like just really let live life. So I'm going to work on this and then we're going to go to my scan and some of you have asked um, if you could do these like in your city and this company is it's based here in Seattle and they are an international company. So they do stuff here, um, R and D stuff here and they sell the products here. Um, but they pull in, um, resources from other countries. So I don't think it's in other States. I think it's mainly here. So sorry. <laughs> it's not like a national chain that you can go and get your scans done. Um, are you going Kaylee? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, from Sandy, she brought over donations and stuff. So we're still collecting. Anyway, I'm going to work on this for another 10 minutes and then I'm going to go. All right. <laughs> it has now been five hours since I was with you guys last. I did, um, I ended up being able to do, um, a three hour scan, um, because my friend forgot about a dentist appointment that actually ended up going too long and she didn't feel well afterward. So then she couldn't go get nails done. But the three hour scan was great because that pays well. And then they ended up doing my ladies as part of the scan because they had like, no joke, a dozen people in the room and every one of them wanted to turn at the wand. <laughs> and so um, I had everything done. Almost everything you could possibly do, I had scanned. So I have goo remnants all over my entire body, which I was not planning for, but it was a last minute. Someone called out, they called me, I had to go in. I actually have another scan tomorrow that is scheduled. Um, but <laughs> I couldn't, it's like hit and miss and whether I have like cell phone coverage in their building and this room did not have any coverage. So I couldn't listen to anything. I couldn't actually, I, I could have listened to a book, but I couldn't watch anything. Um, I couldn't get my music to load. I couldn't, whatever. And I tried to listen to a book. I have two books downloaded. One is an e-reader on Kindle and then another one is an audiobook. Um, and I tried to listen to the audiobook and there were so many people in the room. Like I said, there's like a dozen people in the room and every one of them was talking the entire three hours. <laughs> and so it was so hard to like concentrate on what I was hearing in my earbuds. So then I went to like trying to just read a book on the e-reader on Kindle just like on the app or whatever, couldn't focus on that. I was like, I'm just gonna have to play solitaire and take a nap. But then even then they had me flipping and like breathing and I was like, this is supposed to be a three hour like relaxing time. It's fine, it's worth, I'll just be honest with you, it's worth over $175 of my time. And tomorrow's, I don't know, I have no idea what they're doing tomorrow. They claim they're only doing my thyroid. But <laughs> given what happened today, I probably will get done more done <sighs> anyway. So then I did come and get my nails, hoping that my friend would be able to make it to, um, the appointment, but she was not, she ended up having to go back home, which I, it's fine. It's fine. Life happens that way. And I didn't want anything fancy done. Literally like, can you even see? I just did a light pale pink. You can't even see it there. You can like see the shine. 
I just had them do a manicure and a pedicure. Clean up my feet, get them ready for Hawaii. I don't think I'm gonna get my toes done again. I have been able to keep my feet looking really nice, aside from just like trimming my nails, which is why I came in today. Um, I don't have a lot of like dry skin and calluses and stuff. I've been like lotioning my feet like two, three times a day. So I don't think I'll have to come in for a pedicure before Hawaii and Japan, but I'm, I'm hopeful that my nails did not react to just nail polish. Um, and we didn't use any UV light. So I still have a couple weeks, many weeks actually, before our trip. And so this will just help my nails stay healthy, which is what I want. And then I think I'm gonna go to the other nail salon that I like to go to. This one is the one that my friend likes to go to, which is fine. <laughs> I don't mind it. My friend actually works here that um, I take her home um, when I find her on the side of the road. That sounds bad when I find her on the side of the road. I just offer to help take her home. And today she gave me something. Um, and you have to remember, she doesn't speak much English. And so the lady that was doing my manicure, she's like, she has something for you. She has something for you. Don't leave. Wait five minutes for this to dry. And she has something for you. And she said something like, she paid for your dip. And I'm like, I didn't get dip. And I already paid. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. So I don't know what's in here, but oh my crap. It's a $50 gift card for the salon. I know that's not a lot to some of you, but either this is from the owner, um, cause that's not her name. Maybe that's the owner's signature. My friend that works here doesn't have $50 to give me. And I don't know how that, I don't know how they did that. Take me. That's, that's like shocking to me. I didn't anticipate that. It's kind of in a woe with me mode. Um, um, now my husband and my kids are all like, where are you? Chelsea wants a cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, just kind of like, put me in check, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to gather myself up. I didn't expect that. Um, I really hope she didn't pay for that herself. I hope it's a gift from the salon. They all know that I take her home. Um, it's hard to be able to um, even thank her. I mean, I did, I gave her a hug. When she gave it to me, I didn't know what was inside. Um, because you, should, you guys, she doesn't speak English at all. So I can't even, I guess she understands, thank you. Just um, a little overwhelmed. Such a simple thing for me to get. It's a really big thing for her to give. So. Back at home and this girl, I don't even know how, how many times have you unloaded this, this and played with this? No, it's not, because every time I come in here, it's all they're all in a different little slot. You've got it. You can I up. opened it once. Oh. Kaylee opened it to look at all okay, the Okay, so, I so can... it's not just me. All right. Well, put, put it back in there. I was just telling her that I'm probably going to store those just in my regular makeup bag, because um, I don't necessarily need them. I'll, I'll take one of these ones. So I think I'm going to use this guy as, like, my... Electronic. electronic like my cord my my power cord my power pack thing um what else I uh, like my chapstick my airpods that kind of stuff because my backpack is different and I have to pack this for all the travel that I have coming up I can't carry this onto the plane but I might sneak it out I don't know I haven't decided but like this kind of stuff will work well in here and then I can pull this out easily like from my, my backpack but I need my, I need this purse 
when we get there for everything that I'm doing. I need this once I'm there. I it's just the easiest pack. thing to have on the go. I need a fanny pack. Yes. Why don't you go take my, well, no, I'm listening to something. Go get on your iPad and click on Amazon. Okay. Yes. How was the... We were looking at Lululemon first. yesterday and she looked at the little... Fanny pack. Yeah. And it was... The crossbody. How was the coin purse? I know. The coin purse that they had it there was, was like $68 not, the for a coin purse. It was literally for a coin purse. It was this size. It was a coin so purse it like that and a little teeny tiny wallet. $68 and, and the crossbody was like 38 yeah. But we're just going to get an Amazon one for her to travel to Japan with. I don't like the look. That way you can put your AirPods, your charging cord, your chapstick. And I want everything attached to people so it can't get stolen. And like on the front of you. So go pick out a crossbody. Okay? Come on, come on. Oh my gosh.